Hi, I'm Brandon, and today we will be going over the basics of the heating mat and heating cable installation. Well, the first one is, we never want to cut this heating element, ever. If we need to adjust some spacing, either loosen or tighten cable, and we, and we need to cut, we want to cut the tape here, but we never cut the heating element. When we, get, when we start spacing the cable tighter, the minimum distance that we want to go is two inches. We never want to go tighter than two inches. The cables are too close to each other and they'll heat each other up. And on that note, we never want to go further than six inches apart. An ideal distance is three and four inches apart on the heating element. We can never have the heating element cross or touch each other. Again, that heats up the heating element too much and it will damage the cable. We also want to make sure that this heating cable is completely embedded in whatever surface we're going in, whether that be concrete, asphalt, or sand, or mortar underneath pavers. This heating cable has to be completely embedded. And the last thing is the splice. Just like the heating mat itself, the splice also needs to be embedded in the surface that we're going in. The splice starts here with a smaller cable and it extends out here after to where it connects to the power lead. The power lead itself does not need to be embedded. However, the splice, this portion of the heating cable, does need to be embedded. 